The melees are in the upper echelon of weapons in zombies, and the best one of them all might just be the Tomfa. So let's slap some zombies around with this and see if it's actually the best. And if we take a quick look at the inspect for the Tomfa, Activision might have a lawsuit on its hands because it's the same exact motion I do with my meat when I take it out to pee. But we got our first zombie right here. And it's still a two-shot kill, same as it is in multiplayer right now. But as you can see, the swing speed is ridiculously fast with this. So I'm sure we can pack on a lot of damage quickly. But to fully test this out, we're going to be trying to get it all the way up to pack a bunch three at as high as a rarity as we can. And to speed up the process, I've brought in a few items with me. So let me just activate all of these. And of course, we'll be testing this against the Mega Abomination. And if it does well against him, I think we might try this against the Stormcaller as well. I don't think I've ever taken out the Stormcaller. I've only interacted with it like one time when I got the blood burner bike and for whatever reason they wouldn't let me use the field upgrade for the bike that's supposed to one shot it so I'm gonna get my revenge on them today and now we're in the tier two zone it looks like this is a two shot kill on tier two zombies unless they got armor then it's a little bit more so so far it's not as impressive as I thought it would be but maybe I would just spam click with it everything will just get melted I just gotta remember the best part about this weapon is its swing speed so I just need to be swinging as fast and as often as possible but so my broke ass can afford pack a punch three we need to start doing some contracts i'm gonna start out with some bounties we'll give this a nice little damage test right off the bat after i rob the cash registers oh there's a normal mangler just sitting right here and he's already dead that's kind of nasty that did not take long at all but let's see how it does against a hvt mangler where are you at show yourself there he is all right other zombies need to get the hell out of the way you're taking my lunge and I didn't even have time to finish speaking before he was dead. Okay. We've been very up and down with this weapon so far, but it definitely has potential. I'm gonna throw this cryo freeze on it for right now. Maybe we can find some napalm burst or something later. But that mangler did not stand a chance. He even have a second to swing back at me. He was dead before he could even move. Let me do a quick little aether nest to see if we can't get a better ammo mod. And I haven't mentioned it, but of course we'll be going for the camos with this as well. Uh, it shouldn't take too long to get the camos with this because we only need 250 kills with it and then just exfil. There's only one base camo for these melee weapons. But we might have to play another game after it with it pack a punch to be able to get uh, Zircon scale on it. Actually, no, this is an MW2 weapon. We won't get Zircon scale on it. We'll get Spinal Husk. Oh, we got Shatter Blast. I'll use it. Fuck it. Why not? Let's do a quick little door dash to make some cash here. Bars. All right, we're done delivering our Taco Bell. Let's go back to killing some HVTs. Oh, and this one's a Disciple. Okay. I don't think I've tried to use a melee weapon against a Disciple. It seems like it's the exact counter to using a melee. Considering getting close to it, it'll health sap you. On top of it just being able to fly, but maybe I'll kill it so fast I don't have any idea what hit it. Come here. You get back here. Oh, <laughs> it did not matter. Even while his health sapping me, could not be stopped. But we are only 3,000 away from being able to get pack a punch three. So after taking out this HVT, we should be able to grab it. It's another disciple. When are you gonna learn your lesson? Come here. Oni oh, sleep. That's so easy, dude. These are disgusting. I mean, got a schematic out of that. Pretty sure I already have that one, but maybe I can trade it to somebody or just drop it off for them. But we got enough for Pack-A-Punch 3 though, so let's make our way over there. And while we're making our way over there, I just want to thank you guys for all the support you've been showing the channel. Uh, we just hit 197,000 subscribers, which is absolutely ridiculous. I think at the start of this game, I was at 189,000. So we've gained close to like 8,000 subscribers since this game came out, which is just absolutely ridiculous. I can't thank you guys enough. Thanks for coming by, watching me play this game and make dick jokes appreciate you and we got a mega bomb right here just outside of our pack a punch three machine so let me grab that what's going on dude Ooh, already did a little bit of damage to him but he did a little bit right back and he's lasering me and i'm down okay i thought i was safe right there i think i only have one more self revive this is terrible this is an awful start let me nade these zombies maybe i can get a frenzy guard so another decoy and let's get the fuck away from him before he kills me. We already got like a little bit of chunk of his health gone. We've only swung it at him like twice. We've gotten up in his face. I mean, we definitely swung it more than two times, but we've only gone for two assaults. I got plenty of more charges to rack up on you. It'd be a lot easier without all these zombies chasing me. Stay on that decoy and stay naded. Oh, he's over here yelling. He's emoting and shooting a laser. All right, I just need like... One more kill for a frenzied. There it is. Yeah, we just got that in our back pocket in case we need it later. Where'd our mega bomb go? Did he chase us through here? 
Why do these despawn so easily? I didn't even leave. I just walked around the corner. Coward, dude. All right, well, maybe we do a bounty. I don't think I'll despawn from one of those. We are going to make it harder on ourselves. Oh, and it is a mega abomination from it. Maybe I should kill a few zombies here and get enough money to buy another self-revive. Or just die. Or maybe just die. Oh. Come on. We're throwing. We're actually throwing. I can't go and fight this guy with no self-revives. Maybe I'll hitch a ride with these fellas. I'm going to have to cancel this contract. I'm going to build up some funds and then come back. Okay, we got two self-revives now. And since we've been absolutely terrorizing disciples, let's go talk to the storm caller. Let's go have a little chat. All right, you big bitch hiding in the storm. Where are you at? Has somebody already killed you? Are you serious? All I see is zombies. No storm caller to be found. Oh, that's him right here, actually. He was chilling on the other side. Now he's flying all the way across. He already broke his mask and he's dead. Easy. Done. Give me that. Oh, come on, zombies. Let me pick up his skull. He dropped a golden skull for us. I'll be hanging on to that for sure. And why did it drop my schematic and not my aether tool? Zombies, hold on. You guys are making this more difficult than it needs to be. But that swept him super easily. I thought he was supposed to be one of, like, one of the hardest bosses in the game in terms of like health. So we can definitely take out a mega abomination. Let's get a little more money for maybe one more self revive and then we'll go take him on. All right, we got two more self revives. So that brings us to a grand total of four. If we still can't bring down this mega abomination, then this might be a me thing. Because this is definitely putting out the power. Let's go see if we can find one. Come on. They can't all be gone. There's got to be a mega abomination somewhere here. They're not over here. What's going on? Do I have to leave and come back and maybe they'll respawn? Or maybe I should try grabbing this bounty again. We did cancel our last one here. But maybe this is our only way. Our chance at redemption. Oh, it's a mangler. Come on. Where are the mega bombs at? Oh, one just spawned. I'll be right back, sir. Actually, you know what? Our mangler will stay there. He's not going nowhere. Let's try to take him out. For a quick decoy, get him away from me. And we're going with a little bit of a different approach here. And we're not changing anything that we're doing besides having brain rot on here. And we already broke one of his heads. He's already down to half health. Let's use our frenzied. Oh, and let's get the fuck away from him for a second. Let's, let's let him cool down a little bit. But we already got him to half health within seconds. So I don't even know what I was doing last time. I was doing work this time. And we have somebody shooting from the bridge. We have a, a slight amount of health, but I don't think it's doing a whole lot considering I already went down. But he's almost dead. And he's already dead. Let's go easy dude this thing is nuts he's gotta have some nuts to use it because you will get slapped by damage well since we're already rolling might as well try to take out this mangler too and this is only rare rarity i can't imagine how much damage it would do with like legendary or epic but i can never seem to find those aether tools no matter how many contracts i do maybe this mangler will be nice enough to give us the schematic for the epic one Come on. Okay, he just bitch slapped me, actually. Bitch slapped me hard as fuck. And just go ahead and die for me, please. Thank you. Throw a decoy, get all the zombies away from me. Oh, somebody just set up a deadbolt turret to take out that mega bomb. What are these What are these rewards I'm getting from these? I got one aether crystal. Who's that helping? Why would I want to go to a tier three zone, take out a tier three HVT, just to get a pack a bunch of one crystal? No schematics, nothing? I was getting better rewards from the tier one bounties. Somebody say take out one more mega abomination? Sure, fine, I'll do it. Already busted his head. I'm just gonna sit here and tank damage, I don't care. All the zombies fuck off while I use my self revive. Well, let's get back to beating his ass. Ooh, we still have another one, I think. I should probably check. I don't want to just die over here. Oh, yeah, I don't. Ooh, a little risky then. Playing with fire. All right, maybe I'm uh, biting off a little more than I can chew. Oh, but he followed me up here. Let's not go down. Let's throw a nade. Okay, they took out some hellhounds. Let's keep moving up these stairs. Actually, there's two guys right here. Maybe they'll revive me if I happen to go down. But I don't want to bank on them being nice, you know? I have ran into a lot of uh, not nice people in this game. But I do have three decoys. Fuck it. Let's go for it. Let's roll the dice. Busted his head wide open. Oh, and he knocked me. Fuck. Okay, uh, let's test the, the kindness of these people. Can I get a revive? 
Revive in F5? Question mark. Let's see if these guys get the call of honor. Come on, fellas. Oh, I think he's coming. Let's plead for some help. Oh, let's go. And he gave me a self revive. What a lad. Here, take this. Sir, 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 I have a gift for you, sir. I would shoot my gun at him to get his attention, but I don't have one of those. I'll just follow him. I'm not going to let you go unrewarded. No! Okay, good thing he gave me that self revive. I have PhD though. That shouldn't have. Oh, I, I don't have PhD anymore. So that definitely knocked me because I'm an idiot. I don't even know if I got my camo for it this game. Oh well. I slayed some beasts. That's all that matters. Is this our guy right here? It is. Hey, come here. He's gonna have to stop at some point. I think he's going to this exfil. Here, take this. As a thank you. He said he didn't want it. Okay, let's try another for one. He's already got PhD. Fine. We got one for Shatter Blast. I'll drop it for him in the helicopter. Or actually, you might want it right here. Oh, he's dropping a lot of cell revives. Appreciate you. All right. Well, maybe this other guy wants this. I'll drop these. Anyone? Anyone want these? Right here? Hey. These right here? You want these right here? Oh, he grabbed one. Let's go. Sweet. And we made it out of there. I don't think we had enough kills. Actually, it made the gold sound. Maybe we just didn't see the camo pop up. Because we had to have had over 250 kills, right? Oh, we had 280, so just barely. And I did get a lot of nade kills. So we're probably cutting it close. I don't see it right here, though. But I didn't see it pop up. Did we actually get it? No, we were still 100 kills off. Damn. All right, hold on. We'll, we'll hop back in there and fix that real quick. Oh, and there's our 250 kills with it. There's our X fill. Hopefully we got 100 kills there and made the sound like we did. Oh yeah, we got gold. Let's go. And there's our spinal husk camo. We got our 300 pack of punch kills. Real quick, this is what the Tomfa looks like with gold and ivory on it. Doesn't look too bad. The textures get a little bit crazy there on like the lion's face, but still not terrible. And this is what the Tomfa looks like with spinal husk. I really like spinal husk. I think I might like it better than Zircon scale, to be honest. Pretty good looking second camo or second mastery camo for zombies. So it does turn out that the Tomfa can deal a lot of damage very quickly, but you got to be very careful with it or you're going to end up like me and go down like, what was it? 12 times or something like that. We went down a lot. But if you play it safe and you play it smarter than I did, you should be able to tear through anything with these. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I'll see you in the next one. Later.